Sorry to disturb you. Marlon said I could come through. Everyone keeps saying how tired I look and then they won't leave me alone. I know it's none of my business. But when my mum was going through the same thing as you, when, when she started to have chemo, she started to lose her hair. Is it that obvious? Only to me. I'm sure nobody else knows. I know it shouldn't be what worries me, but I, I got away with it the last time. I thought I could again. You can get some beautiful wigs. I know it's not the same as your own hair, but... Well, I, I got a few different ones for Mum. I styled them for her, and she loved having different looks. I don't know. Well, it's your choice. I, I've got this friend called Anthony. He's really good. He could do one just like your own hair, and no-one need ever know. Want us a treat? Cream cakes? You get first pick. You're trying to kill us? I'm a diabetic. Oh, it was meant to be a peace offering. Well, it's not much of a one. And I'm pretty sure Ruby's looking down screaming at us to tell you where to shove your peace offering. OK, cakes were a bad idea. I'll buy you some wine next time. Would that make you happier? I would be happier without you acting like you're the boss of us. Which you're not. Just trying to do Benice a favour. She said you keep calling in sick. All oh, right. So I'm being punished because of my disability. That's discrimination. I could take you to court. I know my rights. Benice isn't here. She swanned off and left us with her. I know. It's Chrissy I've come to see. Oh, why? Is it Robert stuff? Why don't you go home early? Boston is around already. But you said you weren't very well. No, it's fine. She doesn't have to go. I can't hide this. It's going to be obvious soon enough. What is? I'm losing my hair from the chemotherapy. Oh, soz. I think I do want a wig. Good. Do you want me to give Anthony a call? Actually, if you don't mind, I'd like you to help me. Well, if that's what you want. You've got a blonde one, brunette one to suit your mood and one for something a bit different. It's exactly what I need. Thanks. My pleasure. I hope it hasn't brought back too many bad memories. It did make me think of my mum, but that's not a bad thing. We were always close, and when she was ill, I pretty much didn't leave her side. She was lucky to have you. Thank you. <clears throat> you planning on doing any work today? I kind of see a thing, man. Oh, you poor thing. Oh, wow, would you look at that? You're cured. Comes and goes. I know a faker when I see one. I've had plenty of experience. And to think Bernice felt sorry for you. It was bad. Right, no more excuses. I want you here every day, on time and committed. Or I'll tell Bernice that you've been playing her. Deal? Deal. So they should arrive tomorrow. I can't wait. Marlon said you'd be here. I didn't realise you two were mates, you know, after, uh... Val. It wasn't all Chrissy's fault. And you can't hold grudges forever. Doesn't do anybody any good. She's ordered me some wigs. Are you sure you need them? Cos you were fine last time. This time, I'm not. I'm losing me hair and I have to face it. But I'm not going down without a fight. Possibly as a brunette. Will, will you let me pay? I want to. I'm fine, Robert. And I'll be able to afford a truckload of wigs once I've sold the pub. Thank you for doing this. Oh, no, it's no trouble. Well, I really appreciate it. 